Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode. Well, actually, this is going to be the first episode. Uh, I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here on the page. Hold on, let me just get a sound check. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. So yeah, all right. So um, welcome on this late night. Um, actually, the dates got messed up, but uh, in the same way, um, it kind of um, you know, it's kind of like a little bit it was on the fifth, but we're on the fourth. But I am coming to you guys here with the episode of political process. And in this game, political process, I do want to say that um, there's a game called political process, and that is on the um, Steam Workshop. And I wanted to play this game as the mayor of City Jersey. So um, we also have a group that is called of the political process, but is also Mayor Kareem Clemens, which is me, uh, who is definitely, definitely excited about that group. And also uh, to you guys on YouTube, um, thank you guys so much for joining me. This is season one, episode one. I'm going to try to get this uh, going right here, right now. I am picking my cabinet uh, selection. So without further ado, I'm going to go right into the game. Now, I played this game, and um, the game, uh, it, it, it is what it is. But uh, you guys will go in, and, and we will see. I'm, I'm at the mayor part. So right now, I'm picking all the people that I can pick. And uh, uh, so let's let's get right into the game. All right, so um, come here, here, here. Now, I'm going to see if I can go ahead and just uh, um, turn the audio down a little bit um, in the game because, hold on, let me see. Turn the audio down a little bit in the game because it is just kind of like, all right, there we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, so anyway, so I just turned it off. All right, so here, um, if you guys um, are just uh, joining, this is political process. And basically, a uh, political process is a simulator game where, y where you can explore dynamic worlds and a politician, create a character, run from political office, write legislation, balance the budget, and you know, a, a seed all the way to the political anarchy, right? By being the president of the United States. Uh, just let me give you a rundown of history. Uh, you can create a character, as you can see uh, in the game. I'm already at the mayoral part, so I have to pick, like, my cabinet. But before I go in, I'm just going to just give you guys... Um, uh, matter of fact, let me just go ahead on here... Let me see, let me see, let me see if I can do this real quick. I want to show you guys this real quick. Uh, let me just stop that. And then I want to just show y'all because I want y'all, if y'all want to get into this game and y'all really want to, you know, um, buy the game, get the game. It's online. All right. So here, so this, this game right here is a political process. And here is everything about the game. You can go in here and you can um, buy this game. I was talking about this game a long time ago. And I said that I wanted to. I wanted to, uh, you know, play a game, and I got the game. So here, you create a character, um, choose custom districts. 
Like right now I am uh, the mayor in city Jersey. Well, it's just Jersey City backwards. Uh, but I am... Um, Sorry about that. So I am um, the mayor in uh, City Jersey. First time playing the mayor. Okay, I played around with the game, but uh, it's kind of like a lot of information in this game. As you can see here, there is a lot of information when it comes to um, running for office. Now, this is just the um, intro, and then I'm going to get into selective. I, I'm just going to go over here, and then I'll talk to you guys and show you, because this game can go on and on and on, and I don't want to be doing that on and on. I just want to just get to the get straight to the point. Here, you can run for political office, uh, such as, like, whatever is open. Um, they have, uh, you can write legislations. You can deal with the the balance, the budget, you can deal with a lot of things. Uh, like I said, you can be the president. Today I'm going to be playing as the mayor. Okay, uh, I just want to just go ahead and start that series as being the mayor of City Jersey. So at this time, uh, I'm going to now go and pick my cabinet members. All right. So... Uh, I've already, I guess I already started already. I already um, got to the position. So um, I'm here now supposed to pick my fire chief. So the fire chief is to keep the community safe by extinguishing fires and by providing fire safety. So um, again, I'm in New Jersey and he says city Jersey fire chief. You know, I just turns it around, you know, just for copyright. But, you know, it's Jersey City backwards my hometown right and um so let's see uh we have um you know you, you see it all we have natalie we have edison you know they all he's a liberal conservative i'm very liberal liberal in this game so just keep that in mind and um i have a chief of staff i have all this other stuff so Okay, so let's see. She's she's very real, very liberal, liberal. Somebody that want to match me. He's very liberal, 70, 70, 70% and 50%. And he has no history, but she has a history. So I'm just going to go ahead and select. Now, my select, now, it's just going to go on and on, but just bear with me. All right, so the um, next is going to be the Chief Financial Office, Department of Finance. Somebody who's going to... Um, uh, oversee the city taxes payer and tax revenues. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, Nathaniel because he has 91 uh, um, experience and he's very liberal. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that these are the same people that uh, pretty much uh, dealt with the current administration and they just wanted to stick over and they say, "Hey, I'm just going to stick with the new current administration." All right, so. My city attorney, uh, I'm not going to go out of the fact that the social ideology is conservative and, and you know, it's liberal. I just want to keep it straight to the point. So very liberal, very liberal. So I'm just going to stick with Mario and, uh, you know, because, again, I started out and, and, and if you got to, if you have this game, you can all you could do a survey and it'll tell you what type of you know, uh, ideology you ha you are. And in this case, I'm 50-50 on both. So I'm going to go ahead and select Mario. My uh, chief of Department of Corrections, which is oversee the city's prison system, including the prison's rehabilitation program. And I'm just going to stick with David, okay? Uh, as you can see, these are all other candidates. And, and, and once when we get into the game, I'll definitely show you everything that it is that you can do. I mean, it's just so much that you can do. You can be on this game for a long time when it deals with, uh, you know, dealing with like city, uh, state, uh, you know, the nation. So my next is uh, 
by Director of Park and, and Recreation, overseeing the maintenance of the city recreation facility. Uh, I'm just going to stick with uh, uh, this lady right here. And, you know, you can customize these people. You can customize. Sometimes they will give you the default names and default faces. You can customize everything in this game uh, as you like. The names, their age, where they're from, Democrat, Republic, whatever. Districts. It's all up to you. Okay, so this here is my police chief. And if anybody here on the game who is joining here on the, uh, on the YouTube and also on the uh, the new group page that was created by Al Nicholson. And you want to be someone in the game, uh, you know, such as chief, chief, chief of staff, or if you want to be uh, the house representative, you want to be the speaker of the house or Senate, whatever, let me know. And I could put that and make that done, put that, you know, put that into the game for you. Okay. And that's for the members who joined in the group. I know we have, uh, the group is just now, being created, but hopefully we get some members in there and everybody, you know, at the end, well, it, it, basically we just want everybody who's in, want to be a part of the game and just, uh, you know, be a member, have a seat on the house, okay? You can make your own face. You can, uh, put your own name in there. All right. So uh, Chief of Staff. Okay, so Theodore, he's basically been Chief of Staff uh he's been uh city jersey police chief of police from 2015 2019 that's his history i'm i'm really i'm not really sure i think we're in 2015 uh for the year i'm not really sure maybe it's 2019 i know i played uh one time but we're gonna keep him there we're gonna select him and uh, all these people are gonna definitely give you like a summary i know i played as the president but uh, that was even a lot, a lot of drama. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and keep this lady here because she's definitely been with me. And then I think throughout the whole game, you could basically change their names and their age and everything. So this is Department of Communication. I'm going to just keep him just to speed it up. I'm just going to go ahead and keep him. This is the first, um, first appearance. This is a, a Department of Human Resources, which is responsible for evaluating, recruiting, and management in city employment, establishing human resources policy, and uh, Department of Transportation, responsible for maintaining the and conducting city roads. I'm just going to keep her. Department of Building House, overseeing public works and city community and develop projects in this gym. Department of City Planning oversees the growth of department development of the city by uh, Managing zoning policy and analyzing city planning proposals. I'm just going to go ahead and keep her. This Department of Public Health is responsible for analyzing health policies and regulations, public health standards. And Department of Utilities is manages public utilities within the city. And Department of Public Safety, which is uh, oversees the public safety and sense of such as the animal services and emergency service operations. Okay. Well, we can, well, um, you know, uh, 46, 55. I'm going to give her a chance. Well, yeah, I'm going to give her a chance. And uh, water shield management is responsible for managing the city's water system, including analyzing city quality. Uh, see, we have very liberal as well, too. He can be a nominee as well, but it's a history, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep again. Like I said, it's probably uh, people who've been over at the current administration and then they just probably want to work over, or you just change that's why they give you the opportunity to change. So, the director of social services, I'm just gonna get to keep this person. Boom! So, now it says select the caucus. So now um, caucuses are groups of legislation that share the same vows and ideology. Your relationship with caucuses can have a big impact on how efficient you are as a, polit a politician, how likely you are to pass legislations, and there are two factors influence. How likely caucuses members will be to support your legislation, your political points, and your relationship with the caucus. Political points 
presents political experience, political politician with less experience, fewer politician points. You will look to you, you for guidance. They will support any legislation you create. So the higher, so the higher, the fewer political, so I, I think I, I, I alter all that. So it's all good, I think. Uh, so as long as you have a good relationship with the caucuses, if you become the chair of the caucus, you, members of the caucus will vote as you vote on all legislation, not just legislation you create. So a progressive Democrat, uh, I can join either one. I can either be a progressive Democrat, I can either be a moderate Democrat coalition or join the socialist conservative Democrat. And I am a progressive Democrat. Uh, because the progressive Democrat are the leftmost learning caucuses of the Democrat Party, and they have very liberal positions on both social and defeatist issues. They are unlikely to find compassion with Republicans. And then the other ones is modern, and some is liberal and conservatives, and other ones conservative liberties. For so I'm just going to join this one. All right, so um, let me see. So I, let me see. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I'm the president already. I mean, not the president, the mayor, or because I just started. So this is you know new, just like you know. So let's see. You have successfully successfully joined the progressive Democrat. All right, cool. So boom, here we go. Now there's a lot of tabs here where again. It, you know, it may be um, challenging at first when you see it, but I'll just go over and explain it to you guys once more for everyone who is joining here right here right now. Okay, so I've already uh, did my cabinet selection. Now I'm just going to, uh, I'm, I guess I'm the mayor now. All right, boom. So real quick, um, this is my chief of staff. Um, his name is Oliver Stevenson. And this here is basically the office screen summary, which is basically this button here. And and I know like this would be the most this 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 here would be the place you'll see me mostly here besides this and this. Because these two are the most places that you know. This here is your table of consonants is basically tell you what you what you could do and how you could, you know understand the game better, et cetera, et cetera. And then this here will tell you guys or tell us or me what I'm looking looking for throughout the time in office. So I guess I'm already the, um, like if I come to the profile, I guess I am, let's see what I am. So let's see. Uh, okay, so Hudson County, I am 39. That's me right here. This, I guess this is the best that I could come up with. I know I could do better than that, but right now this is what I wanted, you know, to come up with. Uh, according to my general information, State House District 64, State Senate District 32, and Congressional District 9. That's Hudson County. I don't know if those numbers are correct, but uh, putting this on record, I will check in the uh, coming uh, days to, to see if this is right because um, again we'll be playing um, the mayor in city Jersey again that's Jersey City backwards okay uh, so right now I have um, my politician points is at nine million ninety five thousand I try to get it up to as much as I can I don't know how far I can get it up I was going to do nine 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 but some way, time I wasn't letting me. The career is a mayor, uh, Democrat, uh, change party, the caucuses, progressive Democrat, approval rate 72. Savings, I added that in. I gave myself about 9 million and um, 60,000. I guess that's my salary. Now, I'm gonna just, just go, go over this real quick on the tabs and everything. All right, so boom, this is my history. Uh, I was I added that I was a community organizer and then the, the mayor of City Jersey, which I had one term, which is from 2012 to 2016. Wow, how did they give me 2012 to 2016? So much. 
Oh, because I guess my term is almost over. I don't know. That's not, I wasn't no mayor. I just became the mayor, honey. Okay, so don't be, you know, all right. Stats, this is my stats. Um, Really haven't done anything because I just became office. I was, I don't know if it's somebody that just basically, um, you know, they left or resigned or something. But anyway, this here is your policies. This determines whether or not you are liberal, very liberal. This, you just take this little sur survey and it'll tell you what you're conservative, whether or not you're conservative, liberal, liberal or, you know, whatever. And then this is the election history. We have none. All right, boom. So if you come back here, it brings me back to this. And then it tells you, um, so the top is office. That's here. Then this will be the campaign. There's nothing. Politician. This is me. So here. So it starts out like this. So I am the mayor of City Jersey. And I don't know why I have one term uh, with... Well, it's almost up or whatever. Maybe it's going to switch over. And these are my policies. Like that survey that I showed you guys in the beginning that I said that y'all just take to determine whether or not you're a conservative or very liberal. This here would be that uh, it would based off of here. So again, it says I support increasing the minimum wage. I want to decrease the low income and, you know, maintain middle income tax rates and support raising taxes and increased spending, uh, oppose flat tax income, support reduction uh, income inequality, oppose cutting food stamps and reduce ex ex expending, support providing government aid to the poor, education policy, and just go on and on and on, you know? And uh, it tells you when you come back here, it tells you the ranking. Now here is my ranking here. This is the highest ranking mayors of all time of City Jersey. So I'm not gonna let somebody come in and 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 definitely, definitely deal with, you know, the city. I guess I'll deal with it myself. So first time dealing with it today. All right, so city council. Majority is uh Democrats. Uh the politicians, these are all the politicians, is the in city jersey so these are all the politicians again uh, you can change customize all this uh, it tells you their traits it tells you their terms it tells you their points or approval rate and these are the city council we have city council city council city council uh let's see oh you know what and these are um no this is not these are the city council so Let's see. Uh, I think they have. Okay, so he's District One. Uh, Lover is District One. Austin is District Two. Okay, he's thirty-seven. And Garrett is District Three. Cardona is District Four. Russell is District Five. Pierce is District Six. And it just goes on and on. Right? These are all my districts. Okay. Now, I'm not really sure if they go by the districts or whatever, but it is what it is. So this is the city council in my, in my, in my um, city jersey. Then we have the ranking from them of all times. And the highest ranking has been this guy here, uh, Lombard. And then it goes on and on and on and on and on. I think they are still council members. I think. I think some of them is. I know he is. Well, I don't know if they still up or whatever, but then it tells you like the districts and everything. So all these politicians that are here, city council, these are the districts here, and it tells you out of majority what are the percentage and statistic data for Democrat, Republican, and Independent? So from one district to 11, right? So that's the city council. Now we have the city school board. And then this is the politician for the school board. And these are the school board members, right? So these are all the school board members. And 
it tells you what district that there are the school board members in. So I mean, so I think in here we just go up to district seven. And then it gives you their rankings of all time. So like I said, it gives you all the information you may need on your, on the people that is helping you uh, uh, expedite the um, money that is being distributed out to your city. And in this case, these are the people here, the school board. And then the districts, again, this is how many people all statistics did if you're looking for that. Now we're gonna go to departments. And these are all the people that I just, either placed or replaced for the fire department down to um, my finance office, public work, transportation, city planning, you know, corrections. I come to these people and they come to me and tell me what they need and, and I'll see if we can, uh, you know, fix it and make it better. So this is city Jersey and Hudson County, Jersey City, Hudson County, right? And I'm going to go to a state level now, right? So state level, that would be for the government. So these would be the people at a state level. So totally two different things, okay? State level. And then state level, they have justice, corrections, uh, human services, right? And um, I think this is, um, this is, the governor people, these are the governor people, the people who are being picked by the governor, right? And then the federal would be all the people, well, let me see, state. If I come to the state, that's what I forgot. Let's see who the governor is. The governor is Barbara Bruce, and she is a, a, um, she's a Democrat, right? It gives you her history, and it gives you uh well i like that how it's um it's not even 1999 i mean yeah it is oh, i'm tripping I'm about to say i thought it was i'm tripping well it ain't 2019 well maybe the term is almost up i don't know but and it's tell you all her policies and everything and it tells you her ranking she's the highest ranking right so she's the the governor and then it gives you the state house. The majority is uh, Democrats and Republicans, 24, so 70, 30 percent. And then the state house, right? But before you go here, you go to state house and the politicians. It gives you the speaker of the house. Now, again, if you want to be the speaker of the house, hey, just let me know. Uh, we can customize you and we can add your name to the board. We got the majority leader. We got the majority whip. Majority leader and then majority whip for the Democrats and Republicans. And then we have the districts for uh, this is all the people in the districts and the state house. The state house. So we got Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrats. All right. You can only play the, the, the Democrat, Republican here. So these are all the politicians. You see how many people it is? Then you come to the committees, right? And it tells you all the committees that we have in the state house, right? These are all the committees that we have. And you see all the people with a chair, you can replace them if you want to. But it tells you like as much information as you want. And I think if you have this game and you want to familiarize with who you who you gonna be working with around, because if you are working at a standpoint of being a mayor and then you want to work your way up to being like the president of the united states that's not something that donald trump did donald trump did uh he just came into the white house he, he wasn't no no um he wasn't a, a a public service so barack obama is a prime example he was a, a um he was a congressman and uh now he was a senator from from uh chicago and then he ran for president and he won so that's like uh again here in this game i'll be the mayor and then maybe i could just work my way up if they have that if they have if they have is open okay but just in the meantime i'm gonna be the mayor and then you can go lower than that you can be the um 
you can be the uh, school board. You could also be a, a um, council member, but I wanted to be the mayor. Okay, start off as the mayor. Okay, so these are committees. The committees, again, these are health committees. These are the Judicial Public Safety Committee, Agriculture. And if you press on this, it'll tell you who, again, is who and who. Like, I always have a chair member and a ranking member from both sides. And then it tells you who are the majority whips on them and who's with them, uh, who support and who doesn't. And then the caucuses. The caucuses is the progressive Democrats. Again, is uh, are the leftmost learning caucuses is the Democratic Party. And they have very, they're very liberal positions on both. So again, throughout this series, we will try to adjust ourselves with everybody who's here and everybody get out, get out, um, get, get our names familiar with people. Again, names that, you know, if you want to change the name or put yourself in a game, put yourself in a game. Caucuses, this is the caucuses for the uh, state house. And then the rankings. The rankings are the people of all times, from two Democrats to two Republicans to two Democrats. So, and then they have the districts, right? Now we're gonna go to the state Senate, right? So again, this is governor, state house is the state house representatives, the United States US representative, and then the Senate. The Senate is the people, United States Senate for the United States, I mean, for um, New Jersey. And these are the politicians who are the United States Senate for uh, for New Jersey. And then we have different committees, all right, different committees, caucuses, and the state. So different, the United States U.S. representative has two different from them. So ranking and then districts, all right? And then the departments. And these are departments. Again, we have from agriculture to justice to education on a stand level for the government. So again, there's departments for city, departments for the governor. These are my departments. This is the governor department. And then the federal, this is the president. Now, the president of the United States is a Democrat. And this is her name, Maya Sandovia. We can even change her. We can even change. We can literally change the president of the United States of America. We can make the president young. We make the. We could, I could, I could, I could, you know what? I think. Um, well, I'm not going to spend that time on it now. But I think you know what? At all time, I think we should have President Andrew Yang. Andrew Yang should be the president. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can try to. Um, do his because you know you could come here and customize right customize let me see how a young president look at 18. No, she said she was 60. all right and see your hair grows older the more time you stay in office okay so again you could load characters you could save characters you could change their names you could you can appearance policies histories right uh you can do in traits uh, you can add traits to her advance, right? You can give her more political points, approval rating. You can do all that. But I'm just going to leave it the way it is just to show y'all. And then you can just add it to your favorite list. And then this is our um, vice president, Deliana. 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 Okay, so uh, the president and the vice president. You just go to her and you can uh, view all her uh, information as well. And then this is the house, right? So in a um, federal under president, these are the political, the political people uh, for the house. Now, this is going to be all the states, right? So again, we have, we know that Utah, they have Republican, right? I wish it was like a list that you can see it instead of like seeing it like this. Like it's like a whole bunch of people. 
to the scene like this because it's going to be a whole bunch. Right? And it also gives you how many. So this is the house. The house is how many speakers of the house we have. Right? So speaker of the house, we have um, majority whip is a Republican. So this would be Nancy Pelosi spot right here if she was there. Right, so is um, the house. The house is Republican, right? So a uh, majority whip. This would be Mitch McConnell, I think. No, 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 it's not Mitch McConnell. He's in the uh, what's it call it, the uh, Senate. But this would be Pelosi, and then each each um, city has or each state has their own representatives. See, this is uh, Alabama. They have six, seven, Arkansas, Arizona. So let's come down to New Jersey. Let's see who's in New Jersey. So we got to come all the way down to the uh, the end because it's an ABC order. So we have um, okay, S Massachusetts, Maryland. Carolina. Okay, New Jersey. Here we go. Maurice Adams. Maurice Adams. I'm gonna I'm add him to my favorite because he is a um he's he's a progressive Democrat, he's very liberal. So we have this, these uh, guys here. So I guess like at some point, um, you know, when you want to go or try to pass something into action, these guys are going to be the ones that's going to be blocking it from the United States Representative Districts. And then we have Sean Davis, New Jersey, Anna Viola. So it's best to keep add them as favorites because I'll just definitely see where they're all about since they're at the top of the anarchy. Ken Boyu, I'm gonna add him. And then as mayor, I'm gonna see who's uh, part of my district. Um, I think it's good to add all these people. Jersey 12 at uh, Okay, that's it. Okay, now we come to the Senate. Okay, hold on. Let me see the House. Okay, so the House has us on the House of Representatives, but the Senate, we have them over them. Okay, so let's see. Politician, we have majority whip. Majority leader is a Democrat, and the majority leader is a Democrat as well. Okay, let me see New Jersey, New Jersey, New Jersey, New Jersey. Um, okay, we gotta come all the way down here again. All right, there's New York. Uh, come all the way to New Jersey, yeah. Okay, uh... New Jersey, right here. Senator Molly Davis. Senator Molly Davis. Okay, um, is that the only senator we have? Democrat. And these are the committees. Budget committee. Caucuses. Ranking and districts, and then these are departments for the federal, like the president. And then I think once when you become the president of the United States of America, you will pick your. Um, these are their um, chief of staff. Uh, I'm sorry, Department of, um, you know, Department of uh, um, uh, Urban Development or Department of Defense. Part of the treasury. Okay. 
And then these are all my favorite that I just, um, you know, put here. And then, you know, if I want to go back and look at some of the ideology ways and the history and stuff, then that'd be good. Because that'd be good in the long run because, again, like some of these people, they don't retire. They stay in office for so long. And when you get up to their position where they're at, they're going to be sitting next to you and you're going to they're going to be like, uh, you know, you can pull some strings from the top to try to get some things done at the bottom. If that makes any sense. All right. So uh, this is the election. And again, uh, this tell you from a um, federal point, I'll just go back down. I'll start from the federal down. So here it tells you who won out of all the people throughout the United States. We see a lot of red in the middle and a lot of uh, blue on the outskirts. Who voted for who? And then the, the Senate, uh, it tells you this would be in New Jersey, I believe. Right, I believe this is New Jersey, and then in the house, my district. I think this is my district, and then the state, the same state, so state. Like, this would be, um, I think somebody won a seat or whatever, and then like the state would be the United States Senate and the state, the state, and then the Senate and the state, and then the governor, right. How many percentage? And then the city. And then I, I be, that's because I came in as the mayor. I'm an up and coming mayor. Like someone like decided to not give them, they didn't want their job. So I decided to get in and, and become the mayor. I guess, I think. I don't even think they voted for me yet. <laughs> um, all right. So I've done all that. There's the city council and the school board. See, like you can start off this at the school board. You can start off with city council. You can start off on uh, mayor, or you can start off being a president of the United States. All right. So the metrics tells me um, this is all what's going on in my city, in City Jersey. This is telling me from the government approval rate. My economy in City Jersey is just in a red. My taxes is in a red. My health care is in a green. My crime is in the, you know, infrastructure is a red and Department of Fessions is, is in, the, in the green. So that's cool. Uh, each one of these tabs have its own list. But I just want to just show you real quick so I won't go back. I'll just show you city, state, and national. So this would be in my city, City Jersey. This would be in the state of New Jersey, and this would be in the nation. Like in the nation, we have military, immigration, environmental, national debt, infrastructure, and taxes, and economy, education. All this is in a red, so this is all bad, right? So that's there in the, in the, in, in the president's form. And the state form for government, the governor, this is what we are in for heading taxes and infrastructure. I don't have I don't have anything to do with this. I'm only gonna stick with the city because the city I'm dealing with the government, um the economy, I would have to deal with the taxes, uh infrastructure, and playing uh democracy uh three and also government simulator. I said before and I'll say it again, is gonna get worse before it gets better. And coming in, uh, just like, you know, you have uh, the predecessors, they say that, you know, people who come into the jobs, they say that it's not their fault, it's their predecessors' fault, and they can't really uh, take the, um, the deficit and turn it into a surplus and give us the credit and, and, and turn our, um, you know, our deficit, again, to a surplus and having us do some amazing things for our citizens. But it's gonna take again. It's gonna it gotta get better before it gets worse, right? So I don't even know like what's the deal with the fact that you know uh, coming into being the mayor. But I can tell you here, from a city point of view, the population here in City Jersey is six hundred ninety thousand and six six hundred five. 
this is population. So I haven't really um, done the time yet, but I haven't hit next time, but it hasn't given me any statistic data. But it tells you who voted and the 47% registration vote, that number could go up. Uh, the Democrats, Republicans, Independent tells you who's registered and the percentage of votage. It gives me the age, the population, the youth, and the seniors. And then I guess at some point it gives me, uh, you know, data here, but I have to have uh, 52 weeks pass before I can come back and start looking at some of the numbers here. And then predominantly it's more Caucasian, it is African and Hispanics and Asians and Native and Middle East and X. You can add all this at some point when you want to. This is the population. And again, this is all on a city, state, and national. So in the state, in the city, there's 693,000, state is 9 million, and national is 330. Okay. And then uh, these are the, I guess these are all the thing, all the, uh, the, the, um, the, the stuff that I'll be dealing with while in office for city jersey to education, right? From bachelors who gets who's dropping out high school that high, dropout is pretty high and our college is pretty low especially with our graduation is pretty low so that could be helped poverty um unemployment poverty and also under unemployment those numbers have to be these numbers have to come within the um the year well time Shelter and also housing and shelters. Once one of those services has been made. The economy uh, per capita income fifty two thousand four sixty. Now I remember some of this stuff on again government simulator and also democracy three. Uh, so I do remember the per capita income. But if you don't know what it is, the per capita income is the value representation strength of the economy. And the higher the value, the stronger the economy, the green value above indicate a strong economy, red indicates a weak economy. So I think we're in the green. And we're at the high. Unemployment, unemployment, unemployed, unemployed, underemployment, and unemployment. Employed skills gives you all that. Taxes don't have any... Um, information data on that, but I guess we'll get that as soon as possible. And I think once when I go, continue to go on, I think it's going to like tell me to start like a city budget and then we'll see what it is. This here tells you the health coverage, who's in private, Medicaid, Medicare, military, no coverage, high number for no coverage, 9%. That's pretty high. Got to get a lot of people covered. Don't really know what's going on with crimes because we don't have a statistics and data for it. Again, this is who we have uh, and definitely some of the information. Prisons by locations. Wow, we have uh, 413 uh, crimes, property crimes, drug crimes. Wow. Definitely have to work on um, prison. Uh, crim criminal uh, prison reform. Definitely had to work on that. Infrastructure. Definitely, definitely have to work on infrastructure. The budget. So we we bringing in, but we bringing out. This is what we pulling. I don't understand. Okay, we're bringing in revenueing at that, but we're spending out. So. Uh, Okay. Public safety is getting a lot. Uh, trust and role fund. I haven't even submitted the budget yet. These are all everything that needs to be done. I have not even submitted the bud the budget yet. I haven't. They haven't given me an opportunity to do that. Green court. See, they don't really give you any graphics, but this is all the type of um, where you'll be spending the money and passing legislation to uh, balance the budget across the board to make it efficient. 
Okay, and then the laws. These are the laws. Uh, let's see, city taxes. These are all the laws. Flat tax, false. So anything that says false is no. Anything that says true is yes. At some point, I do. Uh, what is that healthcare? Um, now I don't know. As so, if, if that's the case. I mean, well, this well, this is mayor. Well, I don't know. Maybe I mean, I, if they give me the opportunity to pass these laws as um, for mayor, then hey, I'll probably do that. Um, legalizing cannabis marijuana possession, and also legalizing of sales on cannabis. Uh, university background checks. Also, where's the um, health thing for um, for all those people who are uninsured? All right. So then, this is my profile, and then this is the news. All right. So it's not. This is my political points. This is how much I have. And then this here is my name recognition. Okay, that's what it is. I should have put it up more than that. But hey, it's cool. They know who I am. All right. Let's move on. This is my approval rating. Of all time. All right. So the only way you do is to move on. And then all the stuff right here will change as you move on. And you have the option to resign from office or retire or replace. Let's see. Any any jobs? Yeah, these are the jobs. This is the jobs that are here. But I already have a job as a mayor. So this is a school board. Gives you the description. I mean, length, salary, and deadline. All right. And as we press this button it goes down so again this is over some time like it will go away trust me all right so here we go um now it says uh run for re-election the mayor so i'm going to continue it says do you want to run for re-election as mayor yes now um let's see uh my campaign manager Organized campaign. Oh man, I think I gotta run again. Uh so I gotta run. Re-election. I think I gotta run. I don't think he's just gonna put me in office. I gotta run because here we got a campaign manager. Uh I'm just gonna go ahead and pick um well they don't know who an experience, so I'm gonna give uh I'm going to give I would try, uh, try. Okay, so it tells you all this here. So he tells you, he says, welcome to your election campaign. The primary election occurs in 17 weeks. There's much to be done before that time. The most important goal for any candidate is to increase name recognition. People vote for the candidate they know. Increase your name recognition by engaging with the voters. Knock on doors. To introduce yourself to the constituents, recruit volunteers to make phone calls, deploy marketing campaigns to reach a large audience, and contact large organizations to learn the interests of your community. Now, this, a second important element of the campaign is to communicate a message that resonates with the voters. You can learn voter priorities and concern by knocking on doors or by conducting polls. But before you get started, you need to create your campaign platform. Foundation of the uh, campaign, it expressed the top three priorities that you would intend to address if you were elected. And they do have debates and stuff too, um, just to let you guys know. Uh, severe as they are basic speeches and rallies is also what the volunteers use when they attend with voters, interact with voters. The platform can be changed at any time by going to the policy tab and the campaign menu. Also, I highly recommend that you uh, read the election section and the concept menu. And you can view the concept menu, which I told y'all that's going to be either the ones that I want to go uh, back and forth to. Right. Good luck as your um, campaign manager. All right. So I have three priorities. Number one, um, Let's see. Uh, I can deal with all these things. So my number one would be the uh, taxes. 
And I want to, um, uh, reduce city property taxes. So that's the first one. Wait, let me see. Update and then, uh, no, it would be economic. What would be economic? Okay, that's what it is. Economic and increase minimum wage. That's one. My second priority would be the um, infrastructure and see, reduce. Nah, 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 nah. Let's see. Uh, emphasis was cool, but let's see. Um, well, reduce roads, congestion by building more roads. That's going to add more traffic, more congestion. Improve road quality by increasing road maintenance budgets. Currently, road quality that. Mm -mm. That's going to be bad. Let me go to something else. Um, crime. Uh, reduce uh, drug crime rate. Increase jail rate. Crime, criminal reform. That creates criminal reform programs such as drug courts or crime rehabilitation programs. Okay, and third would be, and then I would have to create a city budget. Uh, I'll see property and uh, reduce the number of unsheltered homeless individuals in the city. It says the current percentage of unsheltered homeless is zero. Reduce the city poverty level to below. Reduce poverty. That's the one. And I'm going to continue. Okay. So this is, I guess I'm running. All right. So right now we have no money. So um, I have to uh, add some money into my... Uh, my finances. Okay, there we go. So let's add in um, about two million. I don't even think I have that much money. How much money I have? Oh, okay, nine million. Okay, yeah, I got, I'm at two million. Uh, two million. There we go. Two million. All right, I added two million twenty-seven thousand four hundred twenty-one dollars. All right, that right off the back is going to help us with um, doing some of the things that we could do to market it and, from a standpoint, conduct tolls and uh, conduct surveys and stuff on the city. So that's something we can do there. Uh, like, these are contacts. We can contact all these people, staff. And we could train all our staff, but then it buys training. It's going to cause a hefty, hefty fine, honey. So, all right. So this is how much my campaign funds have. My name recognition is, like, up to 100. And definitely, definitely um, looking at the numbers here, okay? So a primary election takes place in 17 weeks. I can either win or lose. Uh, these are my schedule. Uh, I can give interview in City Jersey on, um, let's see, local television interview, door knocking 18 hours, fundraising. So let's see. I'm going to do some knock on doors. Okay, Democrats. And they say my biggest concern right now is the economy. Uh, I'm working... The working man works hard but doesn't get close to the CEO salary. Um, the rich get richer and the poor gets poorer. I support strict gun control. 
All right, so fundraise, 17 hours. I raised 5,271 and had an, an added to the campaign funds. And then I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can do give an interview. There we go. So uh, views, name recognition, already at 100 and boom. Now, um, let's see. So this has to be within 17. So we haven't even been in the year yet. So that's how it goes. Uh, again, this is the marketing. The marketing strategy will create marketing campaign based on the funding provided. Increase your name recognition and trust. So yeah, so let's go ahead and add up like, uh, maybe like uh, 50,000. Put it on it. So good. And this is going to get 4,419,000 viewers. Continue. Right? Continue. Everything's still looking good. Let's go ahead to the next. Let's see events. Not yet. Marketing. You see what I tell you guys? There's like a lot in this game that you can like read and read and read. You will never go boring. You can read this, read this, and read it. The opponent. And I'm like, well, this is almost something like how political, um, I mean, how um, Governor Simulator was, but it was nowhere near the numbers of the, uh, you know, nowhere near the numbers. Okay, so we are looking at the table. Um, jobs. Okay, so here we got the school board, city council, and a party chair for the city campaign committee. Right? So again, create a city budget. I guess I am the mayor. Yeah, I am the mayor. Well, why does it say I'm reelected campaign? I'm the mayor. Well, why is this? Um, hold the fuck up. I thought it said I won already. Here's the the mayor of City Jersey. Yeah, but it's telling me to create a budget. Okay, here we go. Okay, anyway, so this is the big cojones right here to deal with. All right, so here um, we create the budget. Now, I'm pretty familiar with this during the, um, the uh, being a president of the United States because, well, hold on, 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 Yeah, this week I just passed the power. I didn't even know. I didn't even know it was week. I didn't know that was class as hell. My bad. My bad. Oh yeah, it was wait. It's um what time it is? It's twelve thirty. Yeah, for an hour. I tell you, you could I'm telling you, you could get caught up in this game. This game will get you caught up. We are finally here on the budget. And I think right there we understand. And then we'll get some feedback from people. All right. So this is the city budget. So right now, um, as you guys can see, that it's almost like, I can tell you, it's almost like how the president thing is. But here it just gives you less people that you have that's going to report to you. But you have to create the balance 
of the budget do all of them. So in this case, this would be the taxes for uh, the city Jersey people, right? Hold on. Oh, yes, yeah, Monday morning. Yes, Sunday was uh, Rasheen Crawford Day and Kobe Bryant Day. And it's Monday the 10th, 10-5, 2020. And the time is one, two, three, four. Okay. So, uh, okay. So right now, real quick, real quick, I can tell you, far over on this side right here, this is the revenue. This is how much we are um, getting from the people, just to give you guys heads up. This is what we're getting from people. We're expediting. This is what we're spending out, like discriminatory and mandatory. Mandatory is something. Discriminatory is, I guess, we're getting. Uh, and then this is how much the the budget that we have. Like we're 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 deficit. This is a budget deficit. We have to eventually turn that into. A surplus. We have to turn it from the red to the green. And City Jersey has no money. To read these numbers the way it is, we are in the hole at fifty million four hundred twenty-five thousand sixty-seven. The same with our deficit. Now we're gonna have to change that. And in this case, we are up is tax, the tax policy. Here is my um my uh guess this is the person who's in charge of the tax. And you can view the department report, and he is department of finances, oversee the city tax the revenues, and he says that. Total tax revenue is coming in at a whopping one billion. The city tax is at five hundred eighty-four million. Okay, and the school tax is at four hundred ninety-four million. Okay, so that would be my promise would be lower the taxes. That was one of my things, and in the bra tax br bracket would be. This is the income for 10,000, 50,000, uh, 50,000 standard deduction. I don't know why this is like that. And you know, you could, and you can, um, all you can add this as well, too. Now, right now, it's uh, false, like there, false means it's off, like it's off. So if I was to do true. Look how much money we'll take out right here and add in our treasury. Like right now, nobody in the city is um, paying any taxes right now. There's nobody paying taxes. Right? There's no flat taxes. If it was a flat tax, if I press that, boom, look how much it gives us. But I'm not going to do flat taxes. City property taxes at 1.76%. And it's a revenues of 607 million. Corporate tax is nobody's paying corporate tax. There's no corporate tax. So by implementing this, it's going to bring in money. Like nobody's paying gasoline tax. Nobody's paying wheel tax. The wheel tax is, um, is a level vehicle, like uh, help build. Hmm. Help build, maintain city roads. Nobody's paying all this stuff. But by implementing the service, it's definitely going to help bring in money to the city budget. And I think at some point, they will uh, argue about this. So, um, let's go ahead and do this. Uh... We're going to go ahead and add on taxes. And I'm not going to even mess with this. I'm just going to just leave it the way it is. 
Okay, that's what the tax it is. That's what the tax is. I'm just gonna go ahead and put yes for that. Uh, no flat taxes, not yet. City taxes is on. Uh, corporate taxes, that is a um, yes. And then I'm gonna put corporate tax at. Uh, I'm gonna start off low. Let me see. It could go all the way up to ten. And drop down. So I'm going to start off with them by bringing in, let's see, maybe uh, a start off with 55. Gasoline tax, of course. And New Jersey just got an increase with their taxes, um, you know, not too long ago. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say yes for that. And I'm going to put it up to like 2%. Right? maybe three percent let's do three percent and at some point they will start crying to us telling us no don't do it but we got to do it say we, it got to get worse before it get better right uh wheel tax um no, i'm not gonna do that sales tax uh not yet tobacco tax absolutely absolutely i'm gonna bring that all the way up to 15. Um, I think, um, yeah, cigarettes is, is really, really bad for people. Um, and no matter how much taxes you're going to put on it, they're going to still buy it. I promise you they are. Um, let me see. I'm going to bring it down a little loud just to see. Like, let's, uh, let's add on um, 273. And then as on time, it's going to get high. Alcohol tax. I'm going to go ahead and put up to um, uh, matter of fact, I'm just going to have I'm going to add alcohol tax 30 and for this I'm going to oh because it changes for that okay cool um, I'll do that for that because they said I, they probably, I, like I said I want to lower it at some point, the taxes, but you got to work with me across the board. Okay, that's just our uh, taxes. Now, building and finances. Okay. Now, uh, this is what we have to spend out. We have to either give. So right now, I don't know the numbers on the public housing. So. This is public housing program to help provide affordable housing to low-income individuals and families by having the government pay percentage of an individual or family rent. I'm going to stay true for that. I think we're going to be out of, we might go in a red. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so eligibility. Sixty-eight million, and then we got permanent housing. Uh, well, see if it ain't broke, don't fix it because if it ain't there, it ain't asking for it. Not yet, then I don't know. I guess we'll see, like, we won't mess with that yet. We're not going to mess with this yet either. Because right now, let me see. Let me see what his, um, his, uh, first of all, let me see what he's saying. It says homelessness population is 1,784. 100% of homeless individuals report have access to shelter. So, yeah, so they have access to shelter. Okay. Let's not mess with this yet. Okay. We can always come back to this. Social service. There's currently no data for social service. Okay. So... Um, foster care. I'm not going to touch this stuff. 
Okay, uh, transportation. 68% good quality experience. Play, because maintaining roads currently at 24 million. Maintaining current road level will cost approximately 50 million. Improving these metrics will cost more. Oh, yeah, 50. Um, let's add a little bit more to that. Okay. Corrections. He is saying that there are 1, 1,400, but 1,470 prisons in the city jail, 3,109 in the state prison in city jail is given out. 49 million, 49 million, 49 million. Uh, you got, there's our drug court. And there's our drug rehabilitation program for prisoners. I did say that I wanted to do that. Uh, and I did say that I wanted to do the vocational training for uh, jail um, inmates. I did say that. Let's see. Here we are. Let's bring this down a little bit. Uh, let's. Well, we could always we could always bring this back up too. Again, we just want to try out the program and see um, how does it really like when we see the numbers and the statistics. Then, if it really needs to get that, we will definitely add more to the budget. Uh, high school training for jail inmates, uh, absolutely. I think that that would be amazing because uh, people really, those who are in jail, instead of, you know, you miss school, you can also obtain it in jail too and, and get your degree when you come out. Uh, the jail budget, providing funding to the city jail and prison, I think this is too much. I'm going to go ahead and capsize this a little bit. Uh, maybe they might complain about it, but maybe it'll help out with everything. But we can always give them some more money. Uh, it is going to tell you everything that I've done to the police department. All right, so this guy is saying that there are 1,931,000 1, police officers and 500 support staffs. All right, so let's see. Um, the police budget. This is just in city Jersey itself. It doesn't tell you how. Well, in city Jersey itself, it tells you how many people, how many officers we have. Um, police, legal, liaison, prosecution. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do anything yet with this. Uh, this is part of discriminatorial, like, not mandated, this is discriminatorial. Okay, so the fire will still be under there. Public safety. There's no report for that. The city attorney, there's no report for that as well. Public defender's office, Supreme Court is all the way up to the top, honey. Um, criminal, that's all, that, damn, that's all the way up, 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 up. Forensic science, coroner's office is up. City attorney's up. City litigation is up. Okay, there's no report for that yet. Uh, public works, no report for that. Human resources, the mayor's office, that's where I'm at, city council, all that is just meant. That's, that's discriminatory, that's all us. Public libraries, okay. Park restoration. All right, cool, I think we can submit this. All right, let's submit, continue. Okay, so it tells you right here, uh, my bill 
has been submitted. So Bill 1, Bill 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 has been submitted. Uh, and the news it tells me right here, it says, uh, Kareem Clements has submitted new legislation. So City Jersey News, Kareem Clements has submitted new legislation entitled Grants for High School Equivalent Program for State Prison. Uh, and again, it tells you um, the, which which bill it is, B7, that will be my um, high school equivalent. The B6 will be the vocational education. My B5 would be the crime rehabilitation program. My B4 would be the alcohol tax uh, rate is 30 per gallon. Uh, my B3 is my tobacco tax. B2 is the gasoline tax, and B1 is the um, tax reform. Uh, each tax bracket also increases. Uh, actually, I started the, um, the taxes on the different tax brackets. It goes on about the city council member uh, retired. Okay. All right, cool. And then you got the state. From a state level in New Jersey, New Jersey news, so city Jersey and New Jersey news, and then the nation, there's nothing, right? So this is what's happening in the um, New Jersey level, what they're doing up there. All right, cool. So let's go here, and then let's go next, where we two. And we got political influence, experience, political reputation, influence, uh, full of political change. All right, vote legislation bill one. This is okay, so we have to do all the um, what's it called? College policies. So, uh, the B1 would be the um, the tax. Um, I support this because I've also uh, went in and it says Democrat, 11 Democrats support it as well. Uh, with that. Go to the next one. That's the gasoline tax. That's the mayor. Mayor vote. Vote on that. Tobacco tax. Court. So it's been accepted with the city council. Vote 11. It will be now sent to the mayor. We have signed the B3 into law. So they like it. Alcohol tax support. I sign. Crime rehabilitation, which would be the providing funding to establish, maintain rehabilitation services, uh, rehabilitation programs such as programs inducing prisoner uh, likelihood to commit another crime. Support that. Vote on legislation B6 for vocational training for prisoners. Support. Next, high school equivalent for prison, continue, support, next, nothing going on, but you can see now they have another job available. I can pick a protege, and I can also come back as my protege as well. This is my um, automatic alpha, like if I want to raise money, find much money I have, legislation. I can write in legislation, um, in taxes. Education, no. Poverty, health, crime, and others. And this is the news. Okay, federal, the president, what the president did, what the state's done, what the United, uh, the city, the government. Well, this is me, and then the school, what the school's done. Clear legislation. Not yet. Okay. Oh my God. Um. Okay, that's just scared me. My proof ready. Right, let's go to the next one. Do eleven. Do and the challenge has appeared in your challenge tab. Okay. What is my challenge? Uh. What's my talent tab?
Uh, 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 I think it's gonna be next time. And then now you can run for president of the United States if you want to. If I was getting ready to do that, I can. Uh, so yeah, so let's see. No, still no. It gives you like it gives you data and statistics like at the year, at the end of the year. Okay, here we go. The city of Jersey mayoral primary results. It looked like I got 79%, I got 100% vote on a Republican continue. It says congratulations on winning the primary election. The hand part is over. I mean, the hard part is over. The part Democrats are in your favor. So as long as you can do it, the angry the bases and the votes, you will likely win it. Okay, so I won. I guess I'm the mayor now. Mayor. Am I the mayor? No, I'm I, I got I'm with this guy. We're in election. We're still I forgot that whole election crap. Um a nominee for the mayor has unopposed. He will seek re election. Oh, this guy's trying to get my seat, Brian Hutchison. Mm, he's trying to get my shit, bitch. Okay, we got the election, school, city council, state. So it's not the uh, is the these these people are not up for um. Are they up for presidency? Oh yeah, they are. They all everybody up. Oh shit, everybody up for um election. So yeah, I won. I got a hundred percent. Nice. Okay, let's move on. 20. Well, they usually have like debates and stuff. Okay, before. Uh, okay. Um, it's not giving me anything over here. Economy. Wow. New time loss. See, there's no, there's no data statistic yet. Damn, my approval rate is going down, man. 28 and uh let's say minimum wage i say yeah I, I support i saw that uh drug crime jailing for one point to half of that Hmm. Yeah, because we we trying to do um drug drug reform, the prison reform. Assault ban. Yep. Assault ban. Assault. Watch the Democrat presidential primary debate. These are the people who are running for presidency. And they still have it open, like they still have it open when people are uh, in the fact that they're trying to make it to the debate is like they can get it if they want to. If they can win it over with money, yeah, they get want to. Okay, so let's go back here and then we we'll go here. Republicans are now.
You can also go to their details as well. Okay. It's week 38. The city budget process has finished and a new budget has been passed by the city council. You will be able to view the new budget at the beginning of the year under the budget tab in the metric page. So when they submit it, I'll be in this part, which we'll, we'll get all our numbers uh, finally in there. Okay, next. Okay, the bait again. And this is when they definitely, definitely go at it. And then after we do this, and then I'm just going to go ahead and just end it. And then uh, we do have event schedule for Wednesday. Coming back with this again. Okay. Next. Okay, so it says, um, can this decision, a debate has been organized. Would you like to participate in the debate? Expect viewers, time permitted, five hour viewers. Um, let's see, debate has, would you like to participate in the debate? Um, yeah, let me participate, yes. Um, so yeah, so City Jersey Mayor debate. What message do you want to communicate to the debate audience? Each option will have a different effect on how the audience responds. So express a commitment to focus the party value. Now focus on the issues and explain why your policies are the best part. Uh advocate my party says the best way to forward and working together. Improve relationship with the modern Republican. Okay. Bait. Got a lot of black Republicans. Okay, here we go. Oh man. I'm the winner. I am the winner of City Jersey Mayor Elector Vote. I am the mayor elector. I am the mayor of City Jersey. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. Wow, I beat him. I show you, Mr. Republican boy. I won. No, I wish I could take a screenshot of this. I got you. All right. I mean business. Congratulations on winning the election. You did a great job. You, your new term will begin the first week of the year. All information and also related to your new office can be found in the office tab. Good luck. Wow. I'm the mayor of City Jersey. Here we go. So. I'm the winner. We have uh, who won federal? Who won? Nope, they still doing that. Okay, government is not up. City council. Okay, mayor. Now it says uh, defeated him. Mayor. Okay, nice, nice. A uh, message from campaign opponent. Congratulations on winning. Like, oh, thank you. You were worth. You you were a worthy opponent. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Debate. Well, this is uh, the topic of healthcare policy. I want to see who's going to win this. Um, yeah, I forgot. All, all of them have different topics. This one here is on healthcare policy. And then we didn't forget about the Republicans. They have to go through their debates as well. 
Okay, so here attend the Thanksgiving parade. Sounds fun. It tells how what I do. Cozy up. Okay. Then we got the Republican debate. My health care policy. This is all for President of the United States of America. The primary, so let's see who they, poverty. Oh, they don't even have a, um, elect, the president elect one either. They don't have a, um, they already have week, week 50. I guess now it's going to be the Republican now. Okay. Now they got to pick one, like the, um, person who's going to be. The uh, nominee. Okay, we have 51. We have 52. Okay, right here it tells us now it says in 2016 the following elections will take place. The state house, so the United States Representative House, um, state senate, United States House, U.S. Senate, so uh, in house, state house, city house. Uh, president, after two weeks, you can see which incumbent will not seek re election by viewing the district tabs. And state representative, uh, Danielia, will not seek re election. If you run in this election, you have a good chance of winning. That's what they, they want me to be. I'm going to go here and press this and become the president and the mayor. Now next would be, welcome to your new term as mayor. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to end it right here, right? I'm gonna end it right here. And uh, we covered a lot, covered a whole lot. I won election, I won a lot of stuff here. And now I'm at the point where I will have the message, all the things that have gone to the places. And these are all uh, meeting everybody and stuff. So I'm just going to leave it here, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and, and save this, right? That would be new save. And I'm going to name this, uh, it would be... Jersey Mayor. And uh, I'm going to need. All right, cool. Save. Yeah. Um, okay, so just put that. Save. Wait, the what? Oh, oh wait, hold on. Well, I can just go ahead and just um, save. Okay. And that's a wrap. Um, I want to thank everybody who uh, tuned in to this uh, show. Uh, we definitely had a great time. And I know it's kind of late. Wow, definitely, definitely late for me. I've never really been on this late. Uh, if I have, it probably was something. Real good. But anyway, um, again, I have been playing the game Political Processor right here on the uh, the YouTube gaming channel and also on the new Facebook group page, Political Processor. 
Mayor Crane Clements. That's me. All right. So without further ado, ladies and gents, thanks to those who are here. Thank those who are on their way. And I can tell you guys, uh, again, uh, please like, please share, if anything. Have a good night, and I'll see you when I see you. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Bye.